right, it's been a few weeks since I've been on the boat and I've come back and it's nice and green, uh, mostly from the algae in the river, so we're uh, on fresh water here. Um, so I've used wet and forget before, so I thought I'd just give it a good review. Um, it is worth buying to be honest, but I'm gonna be spraying it straight on. Usually what I do is I clean the boat first because I kind of find it very therapeutic to get the jet wash out and give it a scrub, but it is winter and it is cold. So this isn't sponsored. I just brought this from Force for Four. So, and they pay £21.95 for two litres. Now you do dilute it. So a two litre one will make 12 litres and you use a pressure sprayer to pull it on. So when I first brought it, I didn't bother with the pressure spray. I actually just put it in a bucket and uh, just worked it around. And that didn't really work um, with a broom. I've also used the uh, Karcher foam spray on here as well with this inside and again I found that didn't really work so I did use a small two litre version one of these and um, that worked great so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spray it all over the boat leave it for 20 minutes do another spray as well because it is pretty green and I'll show you what it is and then we'll come back in a few days and we'll see what it's like so with any containers if you turn it on its side it won't gloop and it will pour out quite smoothly so it's the same if you're using um, you know, diesel jerry cans or anything like that. So you're putting the air back into the top. Let's have a little look at my little measure. So I'm going to remove this label and stick it on so I know what's inside. So this is just going to be dedicated to this. Do a quick walk through of the deck. spray hood huge amount over there so let's see what we're working with so this is all the green algae I'm gonna be changing the name of the boat by the way um, which is why the website is serenitycoast.co.uk and my YouTube channel is also that. But here we go, as we go across, you can see all the deck. It's all green. And where I've got my roaming solar panel. It's also green. And then under the line. So you get, you get a lot more of a build up underneath the lines. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more of a walkthrough. So I'm literally just gonna spray it and forget that I put it on. <laughs> It's quite common for a lot of people to use this product around here. Uh, my neighbor does, and he's actually the one who recommended this to me. So I hardly ever see this dude, and his boat is always clean. So hopefully mine will stay that clean as well. It's been about 48 hours later, so we'll have a little look at the results, but I can safely say that it has worked very well. Um, is it a showroom condition finish? Absolutely not. Um, it's killed all the green stuff off. The boat still does look pretty dirty, but it's for the dust, so when it rains you obviously collect a bit of dust in the rain, which is why you can't drink the rainwater. Um, but it is basically just dust, so very happy with the results. But yeah, let's check it out.
Yeah, it's about 48 hours later. I can say it has worked very well. Now product reviews aren't really my kind of main focus. Uh, my main focus is kind of like outdoor living, alternative living, um, things like wild camping, hiking, doing that type of stuff, sailing of course with the boat. So if you want to uh, follow the journey, just like and subscribe and that'd be uh, great. Thank you. Okay, so I was really happy with the results with um, the boat. So I'm going to try it on other surfaces. Um, so I'll show you that. So we're back at the uh, the old base camp and uh, we'll have a little look. So we're going to do this brickwork all the way down. Also going to do the post, the concrete post. Can okay, we also have the garage doors and down here? Okay, so it's all applied. Obviously, done that bit. I've done the door. And then I've done all of the posts with the exception of this one here because they've got the tree there. And then all the way down there, all the way to the end around there. I also sprayed the little seating area. So we don't have any pets here and we don't have any uh, children running around. Um, so and I've done the door. So Today is Wednesday and I'm going to do it on Friday. So it's kind of winter time now, so it's going to get down to one degrees later, centigrade that is, and then we're also going to get highs of 10 degrees. So yeah, got a little pointer. Um, but yeah, we'll check back in a few days. Okay, so it's been four days. Apparently the longer you leave it, the better it is. So the first day, I don't really recognize any differences, but here you can see where I sprayed it on the floor so this bit obviously hasn't been done that bit has so I did a nice little triangle there on the fence it does look a lot better obviously it's still pretty dirty but nothing for a jet wash can't sort out one of the noticeable differences is the brickwork and the post See, post a lot better. I mean, this was quite a bad area, so but yeah, a lot better now. Got the wooden one. Um, I'd say it's a little bit better. Again, this is the doors a lot better as well.